Hi, good morning. This is Sunday and it's May 12th and it's Mother's Day and I want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day. As I sit here and I contemplate Mother's Day and what it means to me, I've already heard from my beautiful, beautiful youngest daughter, Jessica, and she calls me Mumsy, which is her special name, and she and I actually had a Mother's Day dinner on Thursday night, so that was my special time with her. And the more I, the more time I spend with her as she is becoming a young lady herself, an adult, the more deeper our conversations get. And I'm actually enjoying motherhood in a different way. And so I hope you can do that too as your children age or become adults. I'm waiting to hear from Alexis, but I've learned to let go. And I'm being real as a mom because Alexis always doesn't call. And I remember there was a time that it used to really bother me. And now I've had to let it go and let her be who she is. And that's where I'm at with it today. And it's much more peaceful to be there than to be upset that she didn't call me or she hasn't acknowledged me yet. So I've learned to let it go and let her be who she is. And I know that she will check in when she checks in. And so today I am in LA. I'm sitting at my sister Tanya's house here. She and I went out and kind of boogied a little bit last night, if you call it that. But um, I'm about to go spend the rest of the day with my family, all my sisters. I have three sisters, my mother who is 84 years old, and all are my nieces and nephews, and I'm looking forward to that, and so namaste. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, Mother's Day. Bye-bye.